Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, tonight I'm going to have my first unboxing. Um, I have been playing Payoff Pitch uh, and enjoying it very much, as you've probably noticed from the last few videos. Uh, I have um, everything I've purchased from them has been PDFs the game, the charts, uh, the seasons I have. Um, and so I've uh, been hearing a lot about how good their printed uh, cards are. So I have decided uh, to go ahead and purchase a season and to see uh, how good they are. I know uh, Replay, uh, I enjoy the quality of their cards very much. Um, they're probably my favorite uh, of the ones I have purchased. I've got uh, a couple history maker seasons, uh, quite a few stratomatic seasons, and uh, some inside pitch seasons. Uh, but this will be my first payoff pitch season. So the season I got was 1964. Uh, I only have 1964 in stratomatic. Uh, so I was uh, saw that one and thought I would uh, pick it out. Uh, it was the last a uh, good uh, season for the Yankee dynasty of the 40s, 50s, and early 60s. Um, it was a good year for the Baltimore Orioles. They ended up just two games behind. Uh, so a lot of excitement. Uh, I probably will just play a pickup game with the set tomorrow sometime. Uh, I'm thinking maybe the Yankees against the Orioles would be a fun game. I know Robin Roberts... Uh, of Philly fame had a pretty good year for the Orioles this year and that would be an interesting game for me so anyway let's open it up and see what we got so this is a real unboxing I haven't done anything but tear off the label so hopefully I don't cut myself here as I'm recording I know one thing uh, about replay uh, that I enjoy about their sets are is that they're not, they're already cut <laughs> and separated. Uh, I know some people enjoy that. I'm not one of them. Uh, I don't like, I don't like having to uh, tear all those apart. I do like going through them at my own pace, which I do. But with replay, uh, they're already uh, separated and even in teams for the most part. They have uh, a few uh, cards that are not in the right teams, but they even give you a, uh, a printed paper that tells you exactly who is, is not where they should be and how to get them there. So I do enjoy that. So here we have the, I believe these are supposed to be in color. Uh, most of the YouTube videos I've seen uh, of printed seasons from uh, Payoff Pitch, uh, they were in black and white. I have seen a couple recently where they've gone to color, so I believe these are supposed to be in color. So here we have the 1964 season. So let's pull it out and see what we got here. So it looks like they're all shrink wrapped into one bunch. And that's it for the box. Set that to the side. So now it looks like uh, they've got uh, it's in color. And they have uh, their normal colors for the wheelhouse, patient, and tough. And then on this one, I know on the some of the new PDFs they have this. Some of the older ones they don't. But they actually have like the, the light colors going across. The yellow, the green, and the blue. Uh, and it uh, looks like also uh, you'll notice that they have like colors here on this line. Which aren't on the PDFs. And they look like they match the colors of the teams. So like for example, San Francisco Giants, looks like that's orange and a lighter orange. Philadelphia is like a light blue, uh, which was their color in 64, I believe. 
uh, the New York Mets are gold and blue, looks like there. So I believe these colors match um, match the uh, team. So that's kind of cool. I know they've been doing that on the uh, on the stadium cards. I know, like, for example, in my 1969 replay, these are the old-style cards, and they're just a generic color, uh, with the wheelhouse being the, the color that it is just the green. But I know on some of the newer uh, PDFs I bought that the uh, stadium cards are actually the team colors, So, which is a nice, a nice addition. Gives you a little bit of uh, ambiance to the game. I want to make sure I don't bend the cards trying to get this saran wrap off. So, I wonder if they're in any kind of order. So, 64. Okay, look at the quality of the cards. Very nice. Seems like a good, a good quality card stock. Uh, gloss. As you can see there, from maybe the shine. Yep, see a little bit of the shine there. Um, one thing that we'll take getting used to, uh, all of the um, the PDFs, the outs are over here. And then uh, the info is over there. So that'll take me a while to get used to looking over there. But that, I will say that quality is, is very good. Very impressive. Uh, Probably, it seems to be a little thicker than the replay cards. Hold on just a second. Let me grab one. Here's a card from uh, my 1908 set from replay. And uh, it's, uh, it's not as thick and it doesn't have the gloss. So these are nice. I really like the replay cards. But uh, I will have to say that the payoff pitch cards are the best that I have seen. So we got uh, the Giants, Tim McCarver, the Cardinals, Phillies, Phillies, Pittsburgh, Baltimore. So it don't look like they're in any kind of order that I can tell. So it looks like there will have to be some, some collating. But, but yeah, very, very nice. Very impressive. So, oh, there's a stadium card. So you can see that they are definitely the, the team colors. The orange and black for Baltimore. Uh, interestingly, uh, Memorial Stadium is a bit more of a home run park than in my 1969 replay. They're up to the 40s. I believe in the other one, there's just 20s. So we've got, uh, got a blank there for some reason. Um, now, this is cool. Um, they've got the dates of when they were with the team. So I'm assuming that he is a, uh, a trade. So you can see that there, which is very cool. So I thought I would share that. It's always exciting to get things in the mail. <laughs> I'm still a little kid when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, this is my very first printed set of uh, replay or of a uh, payoff pitch rather I have quite a few replay seasons uh, but this is my first and uh, I'm looking forward to collating it and getting a game on tomorrow so again very impressive I would say it's the best that I have uh, seen enjoying the game a lot uh, there's just um, the interaction between the pitcher and the hitter is the best again the seasons that I have or the games that I have, rather, are Stratomatic, History Maker, which is a very interesting concept. And, of course, Stratomatic is the game I grew up with, so obviously there's a nostalgic fa f uh, factor there. Uh, replay, I like. Um, I didn't think I would like having to reference the charts, you know, by comparing the numbers, but it's actually not too bad. Um, my one thing with replay is that um, all the numbers are the same, um, you know, Stratomatic, everything is completely different. And I've never played APBA, but I'm thinking it's the same way. Like, you know, if you hit a, um, you know, this, 
on the six column, uh, the two and the six. So a six six is usually a home run. So I know it's kind of like that with payoff pitch because the lower numbers like in the wheelhouse. Uh, but there's a lot of variety. Um, it's just not adding two numbers. I mean, uh, you know, you can roll an O2, and that's uh, almost always a strikeout on the tough, uh, almost always a home run on the wheelhouse. So, uh, but just the, you know, the interaction in your mind's eye. Um, I also have inside pitch, which is uh, a very cool concept. Uh, the one thing about inside pitch that uh, has always troubled me is the, <laughs> the base running. I uh, always found that difficult. I had it kind of figured out, but it just, took a lot of work for me to try to figure out how to do that. I knew they have a, a new updated charts. Um, so I'm going to get the PDF of that and give that another try because, you know, it's the, the interaction on the pitcher and the batter there is still pretty good. You know, they, uh, as most of you know, they, you know, strike outs and walks, home runs, and then from there it goes to the batter's card. Uh, having played these games, uh, it's on Stratomatic. It's just a little hard when you roll um, something on the pitcher's card, um, you know, a strikeout, and you know that that would have been a strikeout no matter <laughs> who was hitting, whether it was, you know, Rick Arbach or uh, Willie Mays. And uh, but uh, in, in this game, there's some of that too. But uh, again, just the, uh, you know, you a pitcher throws a tough pitch and a really good hitter is able to, you know, get a hit off of it or, uh, you know, whiff seam. It just, again, it's just that batter pitcher confrontation. Um, I really enjoy in this game and, um, you know, very few complaints about it. So I've been playing quite a bit of it and enjoying it. Plan on getting through the 1969 season with the Reds and the Orioles and um, do some other games on the side. So, Anyway, I appreciate it. Um, congratulations on Payoff Pitch on an awesome product. Uh, very impressive set of cards. Um, they got them to me within a week. And um, as I understand it, quite often they have to have these printed after you order them. So uh, I was very pleased with the turnaround. And uh, looks like they were packaged them well. Um, the, the team colors on the, on the cards are a nice touch. Yeah, like Boston is dark red and blue. So I like that. So anyway, uh, I will try to get a game on tomorrow. And uh, I appreciate it. See you next time.